Hi and welcome to Cosmic Consciousness with Cassia. On this channel we discuss all aspects of the ascension process. I have a variety of services that I offer to assist in your awakening journey and you can find those listed in the description box below. Today we're going to be doing a reading for Taurus for the month of April. Whew, clear. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Signs as well as the Cross Watcher of the Taurian. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody, to, so just take what fits and leave the rest. And I definitely encourage you to check out your other sign placements as well. They will be coming out throughout the month here. All right, so let's get some energy for Taurus. April 2021. Although whenever you find this video is the perfect time for you. we do. I do want to put that caveat out there. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles and the Strength card coming out to begin with. And so this is an energy of balance. This is an energy of you feeling as though you're juggling a lot of things right now and trying to balance out all of those things, trying to figure out how it is that you can sort of, uh, like keeping all the balls in the air, it sort of feels like. Uh, let's get some more energy here. Yeah, we got the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety here going on. A lot of this can be the card that uh, represents like sleepless, sleepless nights, you know, like really being stuck in, stuck in the anxiety of the mind. But when, then we have the uh, lovers coming out with the Ace of Wands. And so this is really beautiful, passionate energy. And uh, interestingly enough, Aries got uh, these two cards in their reading as well. So there is, there is a passionate a passionate love affair I'm feeling here. Uh, the lovers, this can be a uh, divine union, right? This is a s sacred sexual union. Paired with the Ace of Wands, this is a lot of hot, lusty energy coming in here. And so this is interesting uh, to see, see how these relate to each other. How do these cards relate to each other? Give me some more energy here. All right, we got the Wheel of Fortune. This is blessings. This is destined and fated events. Uh and the Hierophant, wow, okay, so some, some major arcana with the star on the bottom of the deck. Major arcana here, and this is the card that represents your energy, Taurus. Uh, we have the Lovers, which would represent Gemini energy, and we have Strength, which would, which would represent uh, Leo energy. So that's what we have for signs out on the table right now. Uh, but don't put too much stock into the literal signs, it's the energy, right? So definitely, I definitely feel here that there is some something something really passionate, uh, something really passionate and 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 destined. Something that was definitely somebody that was meant to come into your reality here, and that really brings. It's almost like it's almost like they are the stroke of luck. I feel like let's get some more energy here. And perhaps for some of you, it's like trying to figure out how to um, how to juggle this person into your reality. If you already have a lot going on, right? Taurus, you guys are a steadfast sign. You guys, I'm a Taurus sun myself, right? We are very hard workers. There's a lot of energy where it's like, you may meet this person and, and be like, Jesus Christ, like, how do I even fit this with everything else that I have going on here? Or you might just with this two of pentacles energy... This could also be an energy of you just being kind of like indecisive of whether you want to um, you want to let this person in. You want to allow them into your into your reality. But I feel like this person, what they do for you, Taurus, is they really they kind of soothe this energy. Right. This is the energy of like taming the beast. And in one of the traditional interpretations of the tarot, this beast is the mind, right? And so we have this energy here. So they may be somebody who really soothes that aspect of you, who soothes your mind, who soothes your spirit. Uh, yeah, and really just help you help you ground, help you connect, help you get out of this, this, uh, this, this stressful energy. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles coming with the Five of Wands. And so this is interesting. And so this is an opportunity. I feel like there's an opportunity coming your way as well. There's a lot of interesting energy. You guys have a lot going on this month. This is an opportunity. Uh, and it could, especially with the Hierophant having been our last card, which can represent a uh, commitment. 
this this could be an offer like a, a stable a committed offer but it's feeling to me like almost like a different energy too like there's some sort of whether this is a job offer whether this is some sort of financial opportunity something like that that comes into your reality and it may be something that you had to compete with others to gain right this card can denote competition or it may be something that causes a little bit of controversy when it comes in which is really interesting let's get some more on that energy all right, so we have the Empress and the Hermit. God, you guys got a lot of major arcana. So this is Virgo energy, and this is Venusian energy again. So this is a Taurian type card as well, a Libra Taurus, uh, the Venus card, right? Uh, so f interesting. All right, so yeah. I feel as though whatever this is coming in, this is... Really, it's it's the birth of it's a new opportunity, right? With this uh this Empress card, this is this is luxury. This is uh all of those. It's money. It's something not necessarily literal money, but something really bountiful like that. Uh, but you, there's going to be this process of going within, right? You're going to have to really uh. I feel like. Do a little bit of soul searching in order to, to decide what you want to do, whether you want to take this opportunity. Let's get a little more on this. Tell me about the hermit here. What is the hermit energy doing here? We have temperance. Okay. So once again, this is patience. This is balance. Uh, this is alchemy. Tell me a little more. And another major arcana, by the way, and that's Sag energy. So we got a lot of energies coming out. And we got the three of wands. And so this may have been something that you, something that you've been waiting for, that you've been wanting for a long time. Something, I feel like for some of you guys, it's like something returning to you that's changed forms. Okay? Um, and possibly for some of you guys, this is a person coming into your reality who's gone through some type of spiritual awakening. Uh, so like for some of you guys, this is a job opportunity that you've been waiting for uh, that's sort of shifted the, the way that it's being presented to you. Um, is has is a way of shifting forms. For some of you, this is like somebody coming back into your reality who's sort of transformed. Uh, but some sort of offer, some sort of opportunity that you've been waiting for that's coming in. And there's a major, with the Hermit and the Temperance here, this is major. I feel for some of you guys too, it's like, the reason, and I'm sorry I'm all over the place here. The reason this is coming in for you now is because you have gone through some awakening process or somebody's gone through some major awakening process that has uh, that has allowed this energy to manifest. Tell me some more. We got the Ten of Swords coming out. So we had the Nine of Swords. Now we have the Ten of Swords. So this is the end of that painful cycle, right? That's Which is beautiful energy. Then we got the Seven of Swords coming out. Interesting. With the Magician and the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Very interesting. Just trying to fill out this energy here. Hmm. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The Five of Swords. Yeah. So there's definitely... It feels like there's there's a change in perspective over something that happened in the past. There's definitely an energy. I feel like the end of this painful cycle, some of this painful cycle for you guys too, was this energy of this energy of feeling betrayed, of feeling as though somebody was sort of uh, pulling one over on you. Definitely with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, it's like it's a heavy energy of loss and betrayal. And 
really surrendering and giving up and walking away and having this change of perspective. Somebody surrendered and walked away from something. But they didn't walk away completely because I'm seeing here there's two swords in the Seven of Swords card that are remaining when he sneaks off with the other five. And there's two laying on the ground here that this guy hasn't picked up. So uh, walked away, but not completely. There's still energy left here. There's still, there's still something. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really interesting here. Tell me more. Tell me more. Right? And then we have the Fool. So this is a, a new beginning. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have Judgment. Okay. So I feel for some of you guys that there is the energy of... <clears throat> This is for some of you guys where there is an energy also of someone from your past. Someone from your past who uh, who I feel like wants a fresh start with you. And they're really, they're, they're, uh, they're wanting to put in the effort with you this time. Yeah. And so this could be what some of this energy was in the beginning here. With the lovers, with the Ace of Wands, but also with the Nine of Swords, right? Uh, yeah, really interesting, really interesting. Somebody, yeah, they walked away, but they didn't completely. It was like they still had, the, 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 their energy was not completely removed, even though they may have been removed. And like whatever the situation was, it was definitely a painful situation, but I definitely feel like there is an energy of transformation here. Give me a little more. Give me a little more. Confused, trying to figure things out. Right? Lots of options. And then setting, setting a clear intention. Setting a clear intention to bring justice to a situation. And so I feel like there is uh, there is somebody coming forward who wants to make things right at the very least. Whether they want another chance, uh, another chance with you in whatever regard. And this doesn't just this doesn't just have to be a love situation. All right, with the lovers here, there's definitely a love situation going on somewhere in the middle of this. But this person coming back, this energy may not be strictly love. This could be somebody who uh, screwed you over, uh, for lack of a better term, in any regard, whether this was in a business deal, and maybe they're coming forward and offering you something to make amends for that. Maybe this was in a friendship. Maybe this was in a family situation. Maybe this was in a partnership, uh, a romantic partnership, yes. But somebody coming back to want to make energy right from the past. Definitely feeling that, who's gotten a new perspective on the past. And is wanting to make things right. Or flip this however it fits. This could be you, Taurus, who's wanting to do this. Yeah. And so that opportunity could be coming from this person in whatever sector of life uh, we're talking about here. Uh, but there is a desire for teamwork and collaboration, right? So this person wants to work with you in whatever capacity that is right now. And uh, you're not really sure how you feel about that. You're not really sure how you feel about that if you want to accept it. But we do have the Nine of Cups and this is wish fulfillment. So whatever this is that is coming in. And this was interesting energy that came through a little while ago uh, in a different reading that I did for a different platform. Which is like that energy of like your wish coming true but you may, you may not want it anymore when it gets here. And that could be part of what this energy is all about too. Yeah. And then the Page of Pentacles. The offer. Right? So... Uh, fascinating, fascinating energy for you, Taurus. Um, if you guys want to get more into this energy with me, you are welcome to book a private reading. My information is in the description box below. I do a variety of different things, and that is one of them. So I am happy to sort through a little bit more of this energy for you. I'm trying to see if there's anything. Yeah, I'm going to get you a uh, Wisdom of the House of the Night card. <sighs> Clear. To end, any closing guidance for Taurus here? Closing energy for Taurus. We have love coming out. Yep, so there's definitely that love energy in here for some. We have playful. And we have self-worth. 
and confidence on the bottom of the deck. So this is guidance for you when it comes to any love situations. You're being guided to be playful. You're being guided to, uh, to not take things so seriously. And you're being guided to really pay attention to your own level of worthiness because that is directly reflected to you in your relationships. And so you want to... You want to, to know and understand that you are worthy before um, before stepping into anything. And I feel like for some of you guys where there is a person from your past coming back and making an offer of love, uh, there were issues of self-worth that really underlied your relationship uh, in the beginning. And some of those, those issues really played a, a big part in the things that transpire between you two. There was a lack of confidence because there was a lack of self-worth. And there was a lot of, like, look at this card with this cute little kitten, right? There was a lot of playful energy, a lot of playful light had um, lighthearted energy as well. And so you're being asked to, to step back into that. To remember when love was lighthearted and fun and to stay and to embody that. Like if there's somebody here that is also, this is for, if there's somebody out here who is looking for love, who is wanting love, who is watching this reading saying, oh my God, I, I hope X, Y, and Z reaches out to me. I hope that's what this energy is about for me, right? Just know that, that, that in order to have that in your life, what you want to do is you want to be more lighthearted. You want to be more childlike. You want to, to uh, seek out joy, to be playful in all of those different ways. And as you invite that lighthearted, playful energy into your life, and as you really continue to define and redefine and refine your sense of self-worth, you will bring that energy in for you um, with the person who is able to match your match your frequency. Remember, we always draw in what is a frequency match for us. And so we want to always make sure if we are looking for anything on the outside, we want to be that first on the inside. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you so very much. Uh, if you like this video, like this video. Like I said, there's a bunch of different things that I offer to assist you. You can read all of that in the description box below. There are also links to donate if you feel so moved to do so. I love you guys. So much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful, it seems like an interesting and eventful April for you guys. So uh, yeah, enjoy. And I keep being guided to point out that the playful card is number 44. So that may be uh, relevant for somebody. And I notice also the string here, it almost looks like a moon. And so uh, the new moon in Aries uh, may, be, may be powerful for you guys as well. That's coming up in just a few days here. And that video is out if you want to check it out. And also the Aries video may be applicable to a lot of people because uh, we are in Aries season. So that energy is very pervasive right now. And as I said, they came out with some uh, interesting cards in the beginning that mirrored some of yours. So maybe check that out. I don't know. Love you. Appreciate you. Talk to you soon.